Hello participants, I welcome all of you in this lecture of advanced libraries and in this lecture we will discuss exercises of NumPy and uh, we will discuss, uh, so what we have discussed till now, we have seen uh, num basics of NumPy and uh, different attributes of NumPy, we, we discussed how to slice uh, 1D, 2D, 3D and numpy copy and view numpy array iterations as well as numpy um, random number generations last class we discussed numpy random number generation and how we can create a numpy based on random numbers whether it is random integer random uh, float we also discussed um, you know broadcasting concept we, we have seen different operations of of uh, numpy array so we this is all these in uh, last two lectures now, uh, we will discuss how we can solve certain mathematical formulas. Okay, you know. Like in this case, NumPy is widely used in the scientific computing because of ease of implementing mathematical formulas. So, this is actually, uh, you know, how you calculate. Let me select the pen first. So, this is the way how you calculate the uh, performance of your model as far as regression type of problem is concerned. So, you actually calculate the mean square error uh, based on this particular formula. So, what is this y prediction? It means the value that uh, your model has calculated, you know. So suppose you are having uh, uh, different uh, uh, data sets. Suppose you are having several records in your data set. And your model has calculated this value. This is the uh, you know outcome actually. So your model has calculated this value. So this is the predicted value, and this is the original value. The original value it means in 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 your data set. So the original outcome, the um, uh, you know uh, dependent feature, right? So this is the original outcome and this is the outcome that you predicted right so how can we solve this type of problem suppose you are having this data and how we can solve data so what i would try to solve here i would first uh, you know calculate i will just uh, randomly um, uh, fill this value y prediction suppose my variable is y p so i would randomly populate value like in this case and let's say it is having value 0 0.1, 0 0.4, 0 0.37, 0 0.8 and, and 0 0.9 and so on. And my uh, yi is having, let's say yi is having value, uh, again it is having different values, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.7 and so on. And I will then calculate this value, right. So let me uh, switch to the ideally where I will try to solve uh, this mean square error and how we can calculate mean square error. I am switching to the ideally. So here I am creating a uh, y predicted value that is np dot random and uh, rand. So and then it would give me. Uh, value of let's say <coughs> I am creating 10 value right and I am having one more the actual value I am considering as np dot random dot rand and uh, again 10. So both would have different values right because it is uh, I am using random function. So let me print this one y underscore p and then y. Let me execute this one. So uh, this is the very first uh, uh, y prediction and this is the actual uh, value of y. I am just converting the, the dimension of both the uh, numpy array. So, I am considering as y underscore p dot shape 
is equal to uh, 10 comma 1 right similarly i am changing this dimension of i am making it vector and y so let me print this one so you can see here so this is the very first vector and the another one is the first uh, another vector so this is y prediction and i am considering this as a original y value now uh, no, I would check the performance. So, what is the performance? How we calculate the performance? So, performance would be uh, I am taking as average of uh, you know uh, square of individual uh, differences, right? So, what I would write here y underscore prediction minus y, right? And I would take a square, so I will multiply with this same value, right? With the same value. So now, what we have done till now, we have uh, actually uh, first we have uh, uh, subtracted the individual value, uh, right? And then we calculated the square. Next thing is remaining, which is to take the average. That's it. So if I would print print p, so what it would give me? Uh, let me erase this one. So it would give me uh, sorry, right? It should be asterisk. So this is has uh, this value is actually uh, first um, individual elements have been subtracted and then finally uh, uh, you know uh, uh, finally a square has been taken here right now the next target target is to find the average value so I can directly use p dot mean right. So, it would give me mean value. So, this is the actually the performance of uh, uh, you know my model. So, which is mean square error. So, what we call it mean square error. So, you can directly calculate uh, using uh, operations of NumPy array. So, it, it can be calculated very easily. Now we'll discuss certain more problems as far as uh, NumPy array is considered. So I have set of questions here, uh, exercise. So what is the average value of the second column, right? What is the average value of the first five rows of the third and fourth columns, right? So uh, let me open the IDLE and uh, here IDLE, I have created, I'm just, uh, making a single numpy array random and i'm making random integer here and 0 comma 100 and then 5 row 3 column right so let me print this one print y right sorry rand int uh, t is missing Right. So it is it has created five row three column. Right. Now uh, I would perform different um, operations here. So the very first question was to to what is the average value of the second uh, second column? Right. So second column average value of second column. So what is the second column here? How you would identify the second column? So, what I would write here, I need to consider the whole uh, row, right? So, I would write here colon, then 2, right? So, it would give me second column. I can check it here, right? Let me uh, uh, print both the, right? so, so, you can see here, so, second column is, uh, 61 
this one zero zeroth column first column and then second column so these are the value right so it has given me a value of second column and if you are trading you know second column if you are uh, talking about this one is the second column if you are considering then i can use here one only right so in this way it would be second column right so this is the uh, second column then what i need to perform here i need to find average value right so i would write here directly mean so i can calculate so this is the average value of second column only right similarly you can apply other operations the, the other next question was what is the average value of first five rows of the third and fourth columns third and fourth columns only so first five uh, rows let me i am extending it to eight rows right now i am creating a eight cross three uh, uh, numpy having eight cross three dimension now i need to calculate uh, first five row right so zero then six so it would give me first five row and uh, third and fourth column right so third and fourth column so this would be third zero one two third then five two to five not two to four so the column that is present at uh, second index i'm considering is third column and the next column so in this way you can calculate the uh, average value right so let me print this one so sorry one operator uh, is missing here yes then so it has given me this value so in this way you can calculate all these uh, Question. So compute the row wise sum of all possible values in an array. So row wise sum. So I would just write uh, directly use sum. So what should I use? Sum and axis should be row wise, right? So axis should be zero. Zero is for row. So you can see here. So I'm having eight rows here, right? Here eight rows and row wise it means first it uh, the value of this uh, column across different rows would be calculated so that's why I am having three different uh, values. Similarly, you can solve other questions as well like find the maximum value in each row of NumPy array two D. So find the maximum value in each row. So similarly, the same problem. Find the maximum average value in each row of a NumPy array, right? So just I can use uh, mean right so find the average of the value so in this way you can solve uh, different problems related to numpy array so uh, now i am stopping here uh, so we discussed uh, different problems as far as numpy array is considered and we'll meet again in next lecture thank you so much for joining the lecture